Uh, yeah, the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 21. That has been our theme. The Bible says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. And then 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 3. What is the will of the Father in heaven? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 3. For this is the will of God, your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 3. That you should abstain from sexual immorality. So the Bible is very clear that not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of our Father in heaven. And what is the will of our Father in heaven? That you may be sanctified, that you may live a pure life. Allow me to speak about the cup of iniquity in a family. Mana tunaangalia hizi dhambi za usherati zinatoka wapi. Jana tukaona inawezekana kuwe na seed of immorality in a family. Na nikaonyesha from the Bible, Yesu wakasema, you sons of what? Adultery. You sons of immorality. Mulizaliwa kwa zina. Hamuta pewa ishara ingine, ispokuwa ishara ya Jonah. Ambaya alika kwenye samaki three days and three nights. I'm not going to give you any sign. The only sign I'm going to give you is my death and resurrection. I'm not going to give you any sign. You are sons and daughters of immorality. Kwa hivyo, kuna kikombe huwa kinakuwa kwenye familia. Kikombe cha dhambi. Na nitakuonyesha kwenye neno siku ya leo. Na usipo kuwa kiafu, unaweza ongeza dhambi zako kwenye hicho kikombe. Na ni Yesu alisema kwamba familia zina vikombe vya dhambi. Mi naomba hivyo vikombe sisi katika generation yetu tuzikatae na tuzivunje katika jina la Yesu. Angalia hiki kikombe Matthew 23:31. Huyu ni Yesu alisema maneno haya. Ati kwamba kuna vikombe vya nini? Vya dhambi katika familia. Bible inasema hivi, can we read together one to go? Therefore you are witnesses against yourselves. That you are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. So Jesus is addressing an issue here. Anasema nyinyi ni wana wa wala wali uwa nini? Manabi. Baba zenu wali uwa nani? Manabi. Your fathers killed the prophets. Arafu wakaendelea mstari wa 32. Mstari wa 32. Can we now read again? Fill up then. Do what? Fill up then. The measure of your father's what? Guilt. Jazeni kikombe cha uovu wa baba yenu. Kuna kikombe huwa kinakuwa kwenye familia. Kikombe cha uovu. Kikombe cha makosa. Kikombe cha hatia. Yesu anawambia muliuwa baba zenu waliuwa manabi. Na nyinyi mutaniuwa. Na ni kikombe kiko katika hiyo jamii yenu. Ambacho inaonekana hata nyinyi mutakijaza sasa. It is almost full. So ni vizuru una, unafanya study ya your family unaangalia. What, what is the guilt of your father's house? Mana uni yesu anasema, fill up the guilt of your father's house. Jazeni uovu. Jazeni kikombe cha uovu wa baba zenu. So if there is something we should not ignore, ni kwamba kuna vikombe vya dhambi katika nyumba na familia. Na usipo kuwa kiafu, you may do what your father used to do. You may continue with the sins of your father. You may continue with the wickedness of your father. You may continue with the patterns of your father. You may continue doing the same sins that your father did. Na hapa yesu wakai address akasema, Hayo ni verse 31. You are witness against yourselves that you are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. Nyinyi ni wana. Wababa wale ambo waliuwa manabi. Na kwa sababu waliuwa manabi, the same thing is in your bloodline. You need, instead of dealing with it, mutajaza yoki kombe, na muwe na muendele kuwa manabi. Na ndiyo sababu tunafaa tuwe kiafu. Tunafaa tuchunguze. Ni kikombe gani kimekuwa in our families. Kuna familia unapata zinawizi. I remember I met a lady, ambaya likuja kaniona Samias Baki na Robi. Akaniambia the husband back in the days Hatakangi kuambia watoto wake Wamana buwanaki alikufa watoto wakiwa wadogo Miaka beef below 10 But buwanaki alikuwa muizi Alipigwa na mob 
akiiba akakufa sasa watoto wameanza kuwa wakubwa shule anashinda akiitwa high school watoto kuiba yuwa sana meiba hii yuwa sana meiba hii anafukuzu wako wa kuiba wengine wakifukuzu wako kukosa kufanya homework watoto wake wanafukuzu wako wa kuiba haka kuja haka niambia roho ya wizi ya baba yao iko kwa hawa watoto mimi mahali nilizaliwa hakuna wizi huwa hatuibi lakini hawa watoto wameanza kuiba na siwaambi baba yao alikufa akiwa mwizi so sometimes we don't ignore some of these things makosa yale yamefanywa in the family if you are not careful you may follow the same pattern makosa ya usharati you may follow the same pattern makosa ya kuua you may follow the, the unakasirika unagonga mtu unamuua maana in that family there is a cup eh, amen nataka kuonyeshe kitabu cha Genesis 15 16 Genesis 15 16 so kama kuna kitu ambacho tunafaa tuombe every time as you are doing self deliverance Ma, maana there are levels of deliverance number one is what we call primary deliverance primary deliverance ni wakati unapookoka unaanza kukombolewa na na dhambi unaacha kukunywa pombe unaacha vitu kama hizo inaitwa primary deliverance ile pia kuwekelewa mikono mapepo inamtoka mtu hiyo inaitwa primary deliverance ukitoka kwa hiyo deliverance unaingia deliverance ya pili ambayo ni very important this uh, the deliverance of the word of god in your life vile unazidi kusoma neno la mungu hili neno huwa lina deliverance unaona mahali bible inasema usiwe na wivu ina kudeliver na wivu the more you read the bible there is a level of deliverance that you go through and then ya mwisho ambao ni the highest level of deliverance is self deliverance self deliverance ni ile unaangalia maisha yako unaona kuna mambo yamekataa kwenda haiendi unaanza kuchunguza hii mambo imetoka wapi hii tamaa mbona mimi sikai kama wengine why am i struggling more than others hey praise the lord one day i met a man many years back akaniambia ameshindwa kabisa it was uh, around 2011 the man was so frustrated because he was hooked completely to pornography and he is a believer but totally hooked ananiambia akienda town anatafuta choo mahali anaingia kuona pornography akikaka anasikia hakutosheka paka wamemfuta kazi kadhaa kwa sababu ya hiyo anajificha paka wakanimuuliza unaendanga wapi Yaani anafanya kazi one hour anaangalia angalia anaingia store anaifunga kwa giza anaanza kuona pornography anakaaka anatafutwa <laughs> tena anarudi kwa kazi akaniambia this thing is killing me ni roho ya last imemuingia na unajua ukifungwa na hizo vitu wewe unafikiria kila mtu wako hivyo kwanza niki Niki, nikiendelea kum ananiauliza pasa wacha nikuulize ama ndio inakuanga wanaume wote tuko hivyo kamwambia ni wewe uko hivyo ni wewe sio wanaume wote maana ukikaa kwa dhambi sana una suspect mpaka pasta unaangalia anga pasta hivi unasema ai hata hii hii kitu nafanya hata yeye anafanya unajua ni kukaa kwa <laughs> unajua somebody who cheats on their spouse starts accusing the spouse they are cheating usha notice kitu kama hiyo maana anaamini hai haiwezekani hata mke wangu kuna mahali huwa anaenda why the more you stay in sin you think everybody is like that nikamwambia wewe uko peke yako ati kuingia choo kila mahali town na unajua choo za, 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 za siku hizo kanjo walikuwa nalipisha imagine unalipa shilingi 20 kwenda kuangalia unakaa hapo kuangalia huyu mtu ukichu ukichunguza in their life ametoka familia iko na tamaa kubwa sana ya mambo ya usharati so inampiga kuna mlango ulifunguka kuna kikombe cha uovu kwenye hiyo familia so this person is struggling struggling anapenda Mungu analia akaniambia nimefunga chakula nimejaribu kila kitu ninafunga ninarudi baada ya kufungua tu hivi pa ninarudi kwa hiyo kitu hata anauliza atafungua lini expectation expectation siku ile anasema baba nimefungua chakula siku ya leo hiyo jioni ana watch pornography eh, amen 
<laughs> Unaenda fasting 40 days mlimani kukatana na roho ya usharati kwanza unaimba nyimbo kule za tenzi za rohoni unaimba u haleluya cha kutumaini sina alafu unaanza kupost vitu vitu za i don't understand why people sin unajua kwa mlima i don't understand why people f- uh, the, the devil is a little little thing the devil is something small wajua ukiwa kwa mlima unaongeanga mambo makubwa makubwa unafunga unafunga 40 days siku ya kuteremka kutoka kwa mlima shetani anakusubiri hapo kwa matatu kwanza unashuka ukisema kumtege mea mokozi ukisubiri matatu kwangu ta mukabisa gari pasa na inasimama iko na dada <laughs> anakwambia unaenda wapi <laughs> nikupe lift <laughs> Ah haleluya. Yaani shetani anakutumania immediately kwanza ubebwe na personal. Mimi nakwambia nimehandle issues za watu wanakaa mlimani akimaliza fasting anakuja anaanguka vibaya kuliko vile alikuwa mbeleni. Paka ananiuliza mimi ni mkurogwa? Ni hii ni kikombe. Unapigana na kikombe. Na ndio sababu hebu nipatie the book of uh, Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter 7 Paul anapigana na kikombe ya kwao Romans chapter 7 Anazungumzia vile ana struggle ana struggle ana struggle Romans chapter 7 Romans chapter 7 and 8 Romans chapter 8 anakuja anapeana suruhisho baada ya kusema Why do I struggle like this? Hey, praise the Lord. Wajua mnaniangalia very innocently Kila mtu ana kikombe cha kwao Eh, praise the Lord. Unapata jamaa mwingine hujaichapa pata wanaume hana usherati ni mzuri sana lakini pombe. Yaani mulevi mulevi pasta. Unamuona ni mulevi lakini wanawake atakangi. Anakunywa na anajiendea nyumba nyumbani akiimba. Hata unasikia mke wake akisema huyu shida yake si wanawake, shida yake ni nini? Pombe. Unapata mwingine haguzi pombe kwanza ako na tai na anaongea tongue za Z na M. Mke wake anakuambia huyu. <laughs> eh, hey, amen. Hizi inaitwa kikombe, kikombe. Geukia jirani buulize kikombe cha kwenu. Kidakara mdagadi. Eh, hey, kila mtu kwao kuna kikombe. Eh, hey, amen. <laughs> Let me read for you these verses. Because Paul is struggling right here na kikombe ya familia yao. Sikiza vile anasema hapa. <laughs> mm. Verse 15. Hebu enda mstari wa 15. Paul anasema hivi. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do that I do not practice. But what I hate that I do. Yaani anasema kile nataka kufanya sifanyi. Lakini kile nachukia kufanya najipata nafanya nini? Nafanya. Angalia mstari wa unaoendelea. Inasema verse 16. If then I do what I will not do, I agree with the law that it is it is good. Anyway, sitakuelezea zaidi but now it is no longer I am Aha, but the sin that dwells in me verse 18 for i know in me that is in my flesh that is in my what flesh that is verse 18 nothing good dwells nothing what good dwells for to will is present within me but how to perform what is good i do not find ati ndani yangu ninasikia nataka kuacha dhambi lakini jinsi ya kuacha hiyo dhambi ndiyo sijui. Hii sasa anaongea kuhusu dhambi ya familia. Maana hii ni kitu ana struggle. Hizi is a cup of the family. <laughs> Verse 19. For the good that I will to do, I do not do. But the evil I will not want to do, that I do what? 
I practice. Look at that. Ati kile nachukia kufanya. Na ndiyo sababu, sikilizeni, na mzikasirike kwa kile nataka kusema. It is very important. Kuokoka ukiwa mdogo, kuna kusaidia sana. Unaona watu wale wali okoka, wakiwa miaka kumina, kumina kitu. You are not the same as somebody who got born again baada ya kutembea tembea hii dunia. Maana alifungua breaki zote. Sasa tunazifunganga kila wakati lunch hour. Mimi ni mechanic wa kukaza break. Zina kwa, ka, ka, zina release kidogo wiki hii ukikuja hapa na piga kila nasema watu wataenda jehanamu unashtuka na kaza kaza. Na najua miezi mbili tutaenda na wewe. Na ndio wengine hapa kanisa zilipofungwa ulianguka dafrao. Maana hakuna pasta wa kufunga breki zako. Hayuko. Wale wanaokoka na ndio unaona hata kwa Biblia Mungu alikuwa anachagua watu wakiwa wadogo. Alichagua Jeremiah akiwa 17, akachagua David akiwa 16, akachagua nani? Joseph akiwa 16. Maana ukichagua ukiwa uki, ukikubali njia za haki ukiwa mdogo, kuna strago hauna, unakuwa stable, unakuwa stable. Praise the Lord. Ni kama mtu amefanya biashara biashara mwanaume amefanya biashara akiwa around 47 anasema anataka kuwa pasta. Anakuja sasa anakuwa pasta. Rekese tarababo. Mkiingia anaona customers rebo zota ribadaga. Uh, he hold to nama tutaf... ndio unaona vifagio vinauzwa. Ni ni, bia, ni mwana biashara. Ameingia kwa madhabahu. Akawa full time pasta na hana biashara. Na hana income. Munaona hawa watu watu wanauza maji. Wanauza mafuta. <laughs> Anafaa kuwa kiuza bale bale. Hapa ikuwa pasta. Hey, praise the Lord. Na a, ama abakisha biyashara na hawa na nini. Mana ukija hapa unapiga piga maya sabu. Na ukiwa na miaka hamsini na tano unaona. Kutarunda kama. Lazima nifanya kitu hili maisha ibadilike. Piga maya sabu hile mama mnono. Shandara rababu. Aizi kuwa munono hivi tuburi. Raka sata rababu. Yule razma hiyo kibeti. Raka sata. Mama wewe amboko na redi si mama. Sherebo dogo zeka. Wara asema ni miondo wa kifo. <laughs> Wee, ulichaguliwa ukiwa miaka gani? Ebu uliza jirari yako. Ulichaguliwa ukiwa miaka gani? <laughs> Kwanza ukisikia jamaa nataa kukuowa na ako na 38. Muulize ya betoka wapi. Hamekua wapi yobi ya kayote. Muulize hiyo swali. Unasikia kikuambia niko 42. Uliza. Nasisa miusiolewe na yeye. Lakini uliza tangu miaka 20 mpaka 42. Where are you? Uzifikiri ya mekatu katika Zion. Zayuni. Akinua mikono. Hii miaka 20 na mbili iko na historia. Iko na nini? Na inaweza kana ujuliza kwa nini uja mame kaa hivyo. Sasa ili udili na hiyo kitu na mare jisimame. Simuzama amen. Hapo naona kama hamufrahi. Lakini ni kweli. Kuokoka mapema kuna zaidia mtu. Simuzama amen. Tuliana na jama moja crusade. Akapewa chondo ya sadaka. Akazunguka kwa watu, akazunguka kwa watu, akarirudisha. Kumbe alitoa pesa yote, akaweka mchanga. Si unajua zile, zile chondo za sadaka zilikuwa tunaweka pesa hivi. Alikunja mchanga vizuri ya. Wajua ukishika unasikia ni mzito. The main asha. Tulipo fungua, tulipata mchanga. Sao umfanya nini? Na amepotea. Alibeba sadaka yote ya kuruset. Hei. Yona kuambia kuwakoka mapema ni vizuri. Baada tuko kwa ibada. Mini kuwa na traini watu hapo. Na jionea maneno. Yule jamali beba sadaka ni kaona. Ako kwa ibada. Lakini analia. 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 Analia ibada. Kiendelea analia. Finally. Wakati awasini ya pasa. Halisema. Mutu anataa kuwakoka. Nika wana kuja akilia. Nika wana. Utakataa kumuombea. Zilaitu wa dhambi za jamii huu kaa alikuwa napotea na vitu za watu hivyo. Sasa, uyeme, <laughs> alapotea, alapotea na sadaka. Now, Paul anasema, I don't know what to do. Lakini sasa chapter 8 anapeana 
how to break from it chapter 8 anasema how do you break from this cup of iniquity that is in the family romans chapter 8 anasema hivi therefore there is no more condemnation to those who are in christ jesus number one for you to break from generational sin don't allow the devil to condemn you Mana the devil will put guilt in your heart akuonyeshe wewe ni bure na hautawahi saidika so number one, kama unaandika mahali there is no condemnation you have to accept that you are not condemned you can overcome this there is no more what condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit number two, andika the only way to break from generational sin bible inasema don't walk in the flesh walk in the spirit so total surrender to the holy spirit you allow the holy spirit in your life to move stop caging the holy spirit you need to move in the gifts of the holy spirit usipotembea na karama za roho mtakatifu utafanya dhambi za familia verse 2 inasema hivi for the law of the spirit the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free from the law of sin of death for what is the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh god did according to sending his own son in the likeness of the sinful nature and uh, on the account of sin he condemns sin number three kama unaandika mahali is total surrender to jesus hapo unaona bible inasema kwamba sheria haitatuokoa lakini yesu kristo yes the son of god will deliver us na ndio huwa mnasikia kila wakati nikisema this church belongs to jesus na shina nikisema hii madhabahu sio yangu maana the moment you totally surrender everything to jesus he takes control of your life lakini ukiwa wewe unatumia nguvu yako ya mwili your own self righteousness mimi ni mzuri mimi naweza surrender let jesus be the center of everything in your life asubuhi oh thank you jesus that I woke up today. Thank you Jesus that today I'm going to have victory. Thank you Jesus because today I know I shall overcome every hindrance. Let Jesus become the center stage of your life. Na nime notice hata nikihubiria watu huko nje siwaambi mambo mengi na waletea Yesu. Ukiletea watu Yesu wanafunguliwa. Unaona wanaanza kulia. Lakini ukiana na akili zako za five ways to get born again. Hey, praise the Lord. Aya tuendelee hapo mbele inasema Look at verse 5 For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit they set their mind on the things of the spirit Kama unaandika number 4 set your mind on the things of the spirit Ukishinda saa zote mawazo ni wasichana weka mawazo yako inafikiria sauti ya Mungu hunena vipi set your mind on the things of the spirit lakini sasa ukiruhusu mawazo yako iwe taken over taken over by women taken over by things bible inasema i have set my mind sasa hapa na uh, ukisoma hiyo yote utapata mahali kwingi anasema now i'm free i'm delivered so chapter 8 alikuja akatuambia mambo yale sitaenda yote because i don't have time maybe i can read only verse 9 inasema but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not his total feeling of the holy spirit nimekuja ku realize maana na deal sana na vijana vijana ukishinda ukiwaambia 12 ways of overcoming pornography haiwasaidi wawekere mkono wajazo na roho mtakatifu wataacha hizo vitu hizi ma steps azisaidi mambo ya kufuata mtu ati anataka kuoa asifanye dhambi haitasaidia atafanya dhambi mchana atafanya usiku atafanya mchana siezi fuata washirika wa hii kanisa i don't know where they stay i don't know where they live but if they are filled with the holy spirit you don't need to follow them because the holy spirit will become their strength to overcome the sin rom takatifu uzuia mtu kufanya dhambi kwa what the church should be doing is training people teaching people on the holy spirit and having services of the baptism of the holy spirit having services of the holy ghost 
maana roho wa Mungu akiwa mwingi kwenye ibada na akiwa mwingi kwenye kanisa watu watakombolewa haina haja ushinde ukiwakemea wewe usifanya hivi wewe usifanya ukiona mtu anafanya dhambi ni kiwango ya roho mtakatifu amefinyilia roho mtakatifu ndani yake na kwa hivyo wisdom of the mind cannot overcome sin but the power of the holy spirit can deliver you from the sin of your family leo naomba mujazwe na mujazwe zaidi roho wa Mungu awajazilie ndani mpaka u, hizo dhambi za kijamii unazishinda may you be so immersed in the holy spirit hey, amen si amen. amen lakini hii legalistic way haisaidi yangi hii legalistic way ni ile ya pengine unafikiri kwa kuvaa nguo zimefika huku kutembea style fulani sasa hiyo sasa utakuwa utakuwa msafi let me tell you shetani haogopi nguo hebu ukia mtu muambie shetani haogopi nguo shetani anaogopa mkristo ambaye he is on fire she is on fire of the holy ghost yani mpaka ukitembea hivi una, una ushai ushaijazwa na roho mpaka ukikaa unashtuka hivi una jack ukiona hujafika hiyo raka sata mpaka watu wanashindwa eh ni nini lakini kama uko dry yani umekauka mpaka unauliza tukisema nguvu za Mungu ziko hapo unaanza kuzitafuta ziko wapi ziko wapi unafaa uwe na nguvu za Mungu mpaka mkono inaenda peke yake i'm telling you things i experience hata uko town unaenda unaenda hivi na baba baba mpaka watu wana wanakuwa ngero unashindwa haya <laughs> yani unasikia mpaka nywele zinasimama the body felt presence of god in your life mimi naomba u, uingie uwe so deep in the holy ghost eh hey, amen paka nywele zinasimama ukitembea mahali watu wana notice kuna tofauti because you carry you are a carrier of god's presence lakini kama ni kukauka na hii kuona movie vijana anashinda kwa movie 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 hana time ya maombi hana time ya toto surrender Praise the Lord. Huyo kijana anakuwa very dry, anakuwa na ndio sababu kwaya tusipojazwa na Roho Mtakatifu, dhambi zitajaa huko. Maana nayo kwaya unajua ndio gift ziko. Na shetani anapenda mahali kuna gift. Eh, praise the Lord. Mtu ambaye anachoma mahindi utasikia kwa na usharati sana. Maana anashinda tu akigeuza mahindi. Shetani hayatembeangi hapo sana. Mapepo hapo ina, inaona hapa hakuna kazi. Ndio no hao jamaa kuokoka inakuanga rahisi. Hebu enda uombea watu wanachoma mahindi, wale wanashona viatu. Wanakuanga wazuri. Mpaka wanakuambia niombe. Maana hakuna mapepo around. Lakini mahali kuna gift. Hapo ndio mashetani zinakaanga. Hebu tuinue mikono yetu dakika moja. Can we just release ourselves to the power of the Holy Spirit? Mara roa Mungu akiwa juu yako. When you surrender to the presence of the Holy Spirit, when you move in the Spirit, when you move in the spirit when you move in the spirit you shall overcome the dictates of your body you shall overcome the cup of wickedness that is in your family father in the name of jesus as we lift up our hands we shall not be in despair